Former CIA Chief of Disguise, Tony Mendez, traveled the world with this kit. Every CIA ops officer received a kit like this, right, which includes a wig, glasses, and mascara to change the color of the fake mustache. For 27 years across Cold War hotspots, John Mendez worked undercover for the CIA. But while the blonde from Kentucky was always pursued, the master of disguise was never caught. With disguise, we just surpassed anybody's dreams. I mean, we had some amazing successes. The we were Jonna and Tony Mendez, spouses and stars of the CIA, both former chiefs of disguise. They were married for almost 30 years before he died in January. Tony had creative energy that he spread around like fairy dust. I give him credit for a lot of the really innovative ideas that we worked with, but I take some responsibility for seeing that they they happened. We were a good team. Their team was part of the CIA's Office of Technical Service, or OTS. They built the tools of espionage, the disguise kit, the cameras that could hide anywhere, the underwear to pretend to be pregnant, secrets used in Soviet Moscow, now at the International Spy Museum in Washington. We're not trying to say that OTS won the Cold War, but the tools that we provided to our case officers that let them get out on the street, that let them in fact meet face to face with some of our, uh, our Russian uh, sources made an enormous difference. Thank you.